Did you know that ARC readers and STRAY teams are not the same thing? I actually saw this pop up on Book Talk recently where we're having a conversation about STRAY teams and ARC readers and how there is some crossover, but these are not the same thing. And the people having this discussion are pointing out that a lot of authors don't realize this and they're not operating under the knowledge that these are two separate entities. So let's break it down a little bit for you. An ARC reader or an advanced reader copy person is someone who gets an early copy of your book, technically speaking, in exchange for a review, but also you can't legally do that. So you're giving people early access to your book in hopes that they are posting reviews on Amazon, that they're talking about you on Book Talk, that they are putting things on Goodreads and all of those places. An advanced reader copy person gets early access to your book and you, fingers crossed, get some marketing out of it. A street team is a group of dedicated fans that already know you, already love you, and want more access to you. Street teams sometimes offer advanced reader copies. Sometimes those members get access to the early things. Sometimes they don't, but it's not the only thing they do. A street team is a qualified group of your loyal followers who are here to help market you. They're here to help market you, to show up to your live streams, to engage with your content, to help you plan things. These are your really elite readers. These are people who get exclusive access to you. It's not just about what they can do for you, but what you can do for them. You are here to build that community. So these are the people that you can ask about ideas that you have for your upcoming books. Do you like this? Does this sound good? Hey, do you remember what I wrote about this thing? You can check in with them because they're your super fans and they know what you've written. You can give them early access to fan art, to your advanced reader copies. You can give them early access to reading the first chapter of your new book. You can give them early access to a lot of things. Your street team mostly is designed to help you to level up as an author professionally and to help market you. And so sometimes that means a blog tour on their social media. I know it's so old school and it's so irrelevant these days, but that really was a big thing for a long time with your street teams. These people are creating graphics, so they're creating TikToks, so they're doing things to talk about your books. These are your high-end followers, your dedicated, hardcore people who want to be in your presence. And you also facilitate community. So you're not just there to get from them you are there to give to them. You're there just to have conversations sometimes. Sometimes there's like exclusive chat meetups inside of the group. Sometimes you're bringing in extra people, like your author friends, to talk to your group, to get special access to things. These are the people who can interview you for their Instagram pages or for their booktube channel. These are the people who are going to be there for your ride and die moments. They're the ones that are going to support you no matter what. And so it is give and take. It is a community. It's not necessarily just you're doing work for me and sometimes you're getting special access to things. It's you pouring into them as well. You can give them book recommendations. Hey guys, if you like my book, I'm still writing my next one. But if you liked my book, maybe you're going to like my author friend. Here's access to this. Or my author friend is doing a giveaway that you should know about. Just I'm just letting you know, my author friend is going to be giving away ARC copies. Does anybody want an advanced reader copy of my friend that I think you'll like because you also like my book? It's really this closed door, interconnected web of how you can grow your community. These are the people in like, not your immediate circle, maybe not even your secondary circle, but the third circle that are very close to you, they get more access than any of your other fans. Your street team is here to help promote you and to build your community. And in fostering that community, you are going to get a lot back out from them. They are going to be there to help build your success. So your street team does a lot more than just read arcs. And sometimes they have to be in your street team to get arcs. Sometimes arcs are given out to people who are not in your street team. You don't have to have a street team. You don't have to have an arc team. You don't have to have either. You can have both. You can do whatever you want. It's your author career. And it's your time and effort being put into these groups. We've seen a lot of success with street teams and a lot of failure with street teams. We, we've talked about street teams a lot here on the channel. I have videos on how to run a successful one, when to know, when to cut and run, like all of those things. And so we've talked about how this can benefit you. And it depends on who you are as an author. And it depends on who your audience is. Street teams work really, really well, especially in the young adult space, but maybe not necessarily in like the adult thriller space. Maybe it will work really well inside of the adult romance space, depending on what you do and how you do it. You can have different levels. You can have different age ranges. You can have 
all sorts of different types of involvement and it depends on what you want. But a straight team is not the same as an arc reader team. An arc reader team is not the same as a straight team. Sometimes there's crossover, but they are very different entities for different purposes and work in different ways. And so you need to know that going into it and you need to understand the time commitment on both of those things. An arc reader requires a lot less of your time, like very little of your time. A straight team requires at absolute minimum a good chunk weekly, if not daily. So paying attention to these things, knowing what's going to work best for you and testing things out small and growing them really works to your benefit. And please do not be under the impression that once you start things, you have to have it your entire career. I have had various street teams and arc reading teams throughout my career that I only had for certain amounts of time, depending on the people depending on what I was doing, depending on the industry as a whole. Things change, things ebbs and flows, and you have to be able to adapt with that, knowing that sometimes you're going to leverage these things and sometimes you are not. Drop your questions about street teams or ARC readers down below. We'll get those answered, but I already have tons of videos on it. So chances are I've got a lot of this covered and I can just drop you a link. But if not, I will film more videos for you as they continue to help you navigate the world of publishing from your writing to your publishing to your marketing to make this your most profitable year ever, at least amount of stress and overall and time commitment on the content you're creating. We'll see in the upcoming episodes.